What's up guys, this is Godzilla here, and today we'll be talking about the new hotfix that Infinity Ward has just released. So what this hotfix does is slightly tweaks how the point streak system works in Call of Duty Ghosts. So this adjustment to the point streak system will greatly help the objective players inside of Ghosts, because beforehand, even though the system was kind of developed to encourage amount of objective people playing in the game, it really didn't do all that great of a job because there was a lot of game modes that really were left that were unrewarded for playing the objective. Like Kill Confirmed, for instance, you didn't get rewarded for playing and collecting them dog tags, but now you get half a point for every dog tag that you collect. So it takes two dog tags to equal one kill. How awesome is that? Not only does it help Kill Confirmed, though, it helps Domination as well. You get a half a point rewarded for every changing flag to neutral and another half a point from changing to neutral to captured. So beforehand, if you were assisting or trying to get a flag and then you died halfway through it, you didn't get anything. You didn't get a point, nothing. Well, now you get... Half your point when you get it to neutral and the other half of your point when you actually capture the flag for your team. This is actually a very big improvement for Domination because that's one of the biggest flaws I think Domination had. Is was It was too risky to go for flags. You'd be better off just playing like Team Deathmatch with inside of Domination because going for the flags was very risky and very rarely did you get rewarded for actually playing the objective within that game mode. And they actually have one last game mode that benefits from this hot fix is Grind. Uh, you get a half a point rewarded for each dog tag banked. This game mode is only in private match, though, I think. It's not in the actual categories where you can go play in multiplayer. So, really, I only consider Kill Confirmed and Domination the really two main game modes that benefited from this. I think it's a big step in the right direction because I think it's going to also you know, encourage people to play the objective more. I think this is one of the biggest things that was going for Ghost is that it had this certain point streak system, but it also had its kind of loopholes. And now I think they kind of fixed the loopholes up to now where you really get rewarded if you play the objective no matter what game mode you're in. So if you guys wanted to see what the point streak progress bar looks like, as you can see, only half the bar is highlighted when you get that half a point until you get that other half a point and then it becomes fully highlighted. So let me know what you guys think about this new change. Leave in comments down below of what you guys think. I'm going to be curious to see what you guys have to say about this. And I'll see you guys in future ghost videos.